Hey there everyone, welcome back to Kotec IT Solutions again. I am Hemant Kumar. Today I am going to show you how to complete your internship task and submit your task in the Google form. So let's get started. I hope you have received your internship task, uh, the PDF file, either through email or the WhatsApp group that you are in. So now let's see at an example internship task and let's go with that. So this is an example internship task for web development internship. So I'm going to explain one of that. So you have to go with the other ones. Okay. So now let's see, as you can see, Kotec ID solution, it is recognized and verified and accepted by AICTE and micro, small and medium enterprises. And it is also ISO verified company. So let's look at the various tasks. So you will be given uh, six tasks. You have to complete any two of them. So these are the six tasks that you will be given. You can choose any of the six tasks. Okay. So let's just say you have chose like task one and task two. So let's see how to complete task one and task two. So this is a to do list web application. I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that. You have to do it yourself, but I'm going to show you an example how to do it. So you can use a VS code or dev C++ or Eclipse or any other similar uh, IDLE platform for your coding. You can code in that particular thing and you can check your output. So I'm going to check my output now. This is my output. So all you have to do is take screenshot of your output. So let's take screenshot of your output. Okay. Now I have taken screenshot of my output. So now your code is successfully running. After the successful run of your code, you need to add this particular code into your GitHub repository. Let's see how to do that. First, we need to see how to create a GitHub repository. If you have a GitHub, that is good and well and fine. But if you don't, let's see how to create one. Uh, now click here. If you have already signed in, if not, click on sign up. It will ask you to enter your email and details. So let me enter my email. Click on continue after your email and create a strong password. As you can see, now click on continue. Enter a username, let's say Heyman. Now this name is available and click on continue. As you can see, uh, you can click this or not. No need, not needed. It will verify your account. Okay. So you need to verify this puzzle. Clear. Uh, Verify it. Submit. Done. Your verification has been completed. So for your email, a code will be sent. You need to enter that to for verification of your account. As you can see, uh, you have to now enter your code here. Then you will be asked to enter your email again and sign in. So let's enter your email and sign in. Enter your email and the password that you have given. Click on sign in. Now fulfill all these requirements. Click on continue and just go with them. Click on free, choose free, continue with free. Now that's how you create your GitHub account. So now let's create a repository for you for you to submit your task. Click on create repository here. Come here again. Uh, let's just uh, have as task code tech task one so you need to keep your repository name as only code tech or code tech internship task one okay all of these are not needed click on readme file you need to create that click on create repository now your repository is created so now what you need to do is you need to copy paste your code over here so let's click on add file create new file okay so now here you need to enter your code, which is the code that you have created, like the website code, just copy this and just paste that code over here. And now if you want to explain something related to your code, you can simply come back here again and you can enter any description over here explaining about your code. Okay, just type anything that you need uh, related to your code. Okay, if you are doing coding part, that is now what you need to do here is enter a name file over here. Let's say as task one. Okay. Now just click on commit changes. Commit. Now you have successfully created your task. Now go back again. That's how you create your task. Okay. Your task has been successfully created. After you have uploaded your task. Now what you need to do is you can also upload your task as click on here, upload files and you can also upload your files if you want to. Now come here again in readme file. You need to enter your details. That means who are you? What task you have done? So something like that. So now in the readme file, I have updated. You also need to update the same thing. Uh, if, 
click on edit over here it will take you to the page you, here you can add your details so how that detail should be means you need to add your name the company that you have completed your internship the id these details like id domain and duration and your mentor will be available in your offer letter okay all you need to do is fill these details okay and now you have you have to overview your project like the task one of your project you need to overview what exactly your project is okay and now that's how you do your task this is task one you also need to do task two which is a similar way select the project complete that particular uh, task and add it to your github repository you need to have two separate repositories for two separate tasks okay do not do it in the same repository now if you are in a non-coding uh, internship that is uh, digital marketing or marketing or any other field which does not include coding there is no need for you to upload any particular you know files or tasks or coding but you need to enter all the information all the data that you have done or the work you have done in the readme file itself and add screenshots to it all you need to do this upload your particular images or screenshots of your project or task over here on the readme file that's how you have to complete if you are in a non-coding internship even if you are in coding one you need to upload your output picture like this okay and if you are in non-coding you definitely need to upload something that is related to your task okay so after this is done after you have uploaded your files to repository what you need to do you need to record a 30 second video of yourself or one minute video explaining about your project for this you can use your windows feature if you are using windows 10 or 11 just click on windows plus g a particular uh, bar like this will be open so what you need to do is come here right capture click on this it will open a particular capture screen for you camera and this is for video so, so click on this and your video will start recording see as you can see your video is being recorded so now you have to explain yourself on this particular uh, code over here i have done this i have inserted this particular code i have used this particular feature technology for this code explain something like that and now click on this stop it will stop now click on this it will open this particular gallery you can uh, click on this for to locate your particular recorded file or you can open directly over here continue as you can see your video has been recorded see this is your video i mean you can do better than this okay now you have done that now what you need to do so for this what we need to do is again you have to come back here and you need to upload your particular recorded video on linkedin and tag at the red code tech it solutions explaining your particular video that you have created okay so as soon as you open your linkedin now click on post and if you don't know how to create your linkedin profile you can watch a video on the youtube how to create a professional linkedin profile okay now uh, you can simply add i have completed my task given by at the rate code tech as soon as you type code t it will show you this is our company click on this and now that's how you task and you can add even more description if you want to after this you have to come here click on add media upload from your computer so you can select wherever the particular location of your video is come here this is my video location now i'm clicking this okay now click on this now this particular video will be uploaded for you click on next so it is being uploaded okay as soon as this is uploaded click on post your particular linkedin post will be posted so let's post this okay click on post now your video is being uploaded so what you need to do after this you need to submit your task now so this is the google form you will get through your email or in the whatsapp group that you are in so you need to submit your task over here how will you do it offer letter you need to post the particular linkedin post that you have created when you have given the offer letter right now let's go and do that so this is the particular linkedin post that you have created mentioning that you got internship offer copy this okay and paste it over here and next enter your email address and uh, now after this enter your particular code you will get uh, in your internship offer letter okay enter that particular code and full name on your certificate just enter your full name okay after this uh, the video just we have uploaded just copy this video okay and paste it over here now as you can see you need to upload also upload your github repositories link okay now let's go back here uh, let's go back to the repository this is your repository now copy this particular link come here and paste your github repository link same for the second one you need to copy paste your second repository but for now i'm pasting this only you need to paste your second repository link remember that now finally you need to enter your phone number after this just click on submit 
as you can see your form has been submitted without any mistake so make sure to follow this entire process carefully okay and if you are in different domains of the internship do not worry you know your project right complete your particular task or your project and follow this particular procedure it's just that simple okay and if you have any queries you can ask in the comment section or you can directly message your mentor they will help you out okay i hope this video has helped you so like comment share and subscribe for more content like this and for more internships